What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am here in San Francisco yet again, this time covering NVIDIA uh, and their editor's day. Um, and they've got a bunch of good news, um, some of which I'm gonna share with you right now. I don't have like all the juicy details, I'm pretty much just regurgitating exactly what they told us earlier today. Uh, by the time you watch this, you probably have already seen or heard about the streaming event that NVIDIA just held, uh, where they announced pricing. That's the one spec or the one thing, uh, one detail I don't have right now, but everything else should be uh, pretty much accurate. So right off the bat, GTX 1080 Ti, uh, is the main thing I think that we're all most excited about. Um, and there's a couple interesting facts about this card uh, that we didn't really expect. A lot of the rumors were actually false, which kind of is exciting. Uh, there were more surprises that way. Uh, first of which, um, we've actually got a slightly new cooler. I wouldn't say it's brand new. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the Titan X, etc. Uh, however, it does have twice the cooling area, and that's, uh, according to NVIDIA, going to drop the core temps about 5 degrees Celsius. Uh, I, I should say that's 5 degrees over the GTX 1080. Um, if you were okay with uh, it operating at the same load temperatures, uh, then you would basically just get a quieter uh, acoustic experience. So that's kind of nice. We're also seeing 35% more gaming performance. This is, again, take this with a grain of salt. This is all from the manufacturing slides. 35% gaming performance um, over the GTX 1080, which is huge. I think the GTX 980 Ti was only about 25% over what the 980 could, could achieve. So that's also very nice. Uh, just some of the hardcore specs here, GP102. So yes, we are using the same die as the Titan X. We've also got 12 billion transistors, 1.6 gigahertz, on the core clock speed, 28 SMs, 128 cores on each of those, uh, with 3,584 CUDA cores. Again, same as the Titan X. We thought it was gonna be cut down, it's not. Uh, we also got 28 geometry units, 224 texture units, 88 ROPs, and 11 gigs of GDDR5X, which is kind of interesting. Um, we, I don't think I've ever seen a video card from either camp uh, that has this, this much memory. 11 seems a little bit odd, but uh, it's just one gig less than what the Titan X had, and obviously uh, quite a bit more than uh, what the GTX 1080 uh, is currently fitted with. We're also seeing a 352-bit uh, memory bus width, which is, again, sort of, uh, sort of new and sort of different, uh, with a 250-watt TDP uh, with a 6- and 8-pin PCIe connector. So um, you're going to have to bust out a few more cables, one extra cable uh, over a 1080. Uh, again, we don't know the price, but NVIDIA has said, uh, at least in the time of filming this video, uh, but NVIDIA has claimed that there's not going to be any uh, Founders Edition tax, where you saw a premium price for the Founders Edition card over what the AIBs were offering. That's, a, according to NVIDIA, that's not going to be the price, or the case. Uh, we're going to be, see, uh, be seeing the 1080 Ti priced very similarly in line with Add and Board Partner offerings. So in other news, uh, this is the last bit of information I want to share with you guys before we part ways. Uh, NVIDIA is going to be selling for the first time ever overclocked cards, which is kind of interesting, but this is more focused on the memory clock itself as opposed to the GPU core clock. So we're going to be seeing uh, the GTX 1080 being sold uh, with uh, 11 gigabits per second, uh, gigabytes per second um, clock speeds on the memory clock, and the GTX 1060 up to 9. So uh, very interesting. More, more details soon to come. Of course, you guys should stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more tech stuff and my full review of the 1080 Ti when it finally launches uh, very, very soon. I don't have the uh, launch date either, but you probably do because you've probably already watched the stream. You should put it in your video description. I'll put it in my video description. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Paul, for holding the camera. Thank you to Jay for letting me borrow the camera because mine died in the middle of filming the first time, and I'm rambling now. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.